welcomes you to Giant Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey for today's NFC Eastern Division matchup between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the NFL on Fox. I'm Kenny Albert with Tim Green. The Giants won the NFC East last year with a record of 10-5-1. and This season, only 3-7. and what does today's game mean to the Giants? I think today's game is about not being embarrassed because the Giants came into the season with playoff aspirations. The Eagles came into the season knowing that they were going to struggle, knowing that they were going to have a really hard time of it, including head coach Ray Rhodes. The Eagles have only scored 92 points all season, and for the Giants to lose to a team that's been that ineffective would just be a flat-out humiliating thing. Now, Jim Fossil, in an attempt to beef up their third down conversions, has switched quarterbacks to Kent Graham. Giants last in the league at 27% on third down so far this season. Kent Graham running Jim Fossil's offense in Arizona in 1996 was, in fact, the top-rated quarterback at third down in the NFC. Now, you mentioned some of the Eagles' struggles this season. They've won only two games, and following last week's loss in Washington, their owner, Jeffrey Lurie, called their performance pitiful, and he said he would rather watch paint dry than watch his team. Well, they've played some bad football, and I think the guy that really has exemplified that is wide receiver Irving Fryer. Fryer, one of the best things about this Eagles team over the last couple seasons, a pro bowler last year, catching the ball downfield, getting the ball into the end zone. This year, he's really done nothing but drop passes. Fryer and the rest of those Philadelphia wide receivers today have got to hang on to the ball. They've got a young quarterback at Bobby Owing. They've got to make some plays downfield if they're going to have a chance. And the Eagles looking to win on the road for the first time in nearly two years. Their last road victory, December 96, here at the Meadowlands over the New York Jets. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Back at Giants Stadium, the New York Giants 3 and 7, the Philadelphia Eagles 2 and 8. Ray Rhodes, a former wide receiver and defensive back with the Giants on the final play of the first quarter the only scoring a 40 yard Brad Daloiso field goal so the Giants lead the Eagles 3 nothing Fox NFL Sunday will continue after these messages and a word from your local Fox station 44 yard field goal attempt for Chris Bonial only his 11th attempt of the season five kickers of the NFL have attempted more than three times that many and Bogle's kick is no good. Short. Wow. That is pitiful. His season long was 44. This time, short from 44. This time, Bratsky seals the fate of the Eagles, making sure they go in scoreless in another half of football. A 3-0 lead for the New York Giants, a 40-yard field goal. Brad DeLuiso accounting for the only points of the first half. The Visa Halftime Report is coming up after this. And we'll return to the Meadowlands after these messages. A 40-yard field goal by Brad D'Aloiso. The New York Giants with a 3-0 lead over the Philadelphia Eagles from the Meadowlands. The Visa Halftime Report with Joe Buck and Ron Pitts is next. It's time to give thanks. Spirals, bull rushes, and Moss's magic in the end zone. Thanks for turkeys that get stuffed. Thanks for Dion's prance and other guys that can cook. Thanks for that cannon, those gloves, and these wheels. Thanks for that second helping of mashed potatoes. Thanks for togetherness. Man, you should hang out. We should go fishing together. Enjoy the football feast. Division leaders clash as the Vikings take on the Cowboys in a Fox Thanksgiving special. Welcome to the Visa Halftime Report. Visa, the preferred card of the NFL that's everywhere you want to be. 
and welcome to the Visa Halftime. I'm Joe Buck. That's Ron Pitts. This is the Fox Television Center we've been telling you so much about. Now for the game that you're watching. <laughs> for this, we say we're sorry. It's 3-0, the Giants leading at home over the Eagles, two sub-500 teams. They are at the half, as you know, and a three-point lead for the Giants. That's Ron Pitts. I'm Joe Buck. The other guys will be along on the other side of the break. That means Kenny Albert and Tim Green. This is the Visa Halftime. It will continue in just a moment. That will do it for the third quarter as time winds down. Gary Brown, a four-yard touchdown run. Giants lead the Eagles 10-0. Fox NFL Sunday continues after these words from your local Fox station. The Giants now 4-7. and seven. They bounce back from last week's embarrassing loss to the Green Bay Packers. Giants have defeated the Philadelphia Eagles by the score of 20 to nothing. Third time the Eagles have been shut out this season. Ken Graham with a victory in his first start of the year. The numbers on Graham, 10 of 21 for 153 yards. And a touchdown, Gary Brown, 96 yards on the ground for the Giants. Again, a lot of those yards by Gary Brown coming from hard running, churning legs, but also the offensive line, the Giants offensive line, getting back to what they need to do if the Giants are going to have success in the last half of this season and then take that theme into next season. So the New York Giants victorious this afternoon by the score of 20 to nothing over the two and nine. Philadelphia Eagles, these teams will face each other one more time on the final Sunday of the regular season at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. So the Giants raise their record to four and seven. The Eagles drop to two and nine. For Tim Green and our entire crew, Kenny Albert saying so long from the Meadowlands where the Giants have defeated the Eagles 20 to nothing. We'll send you back to the Fox Network Center in Los Angeles, Joe Buck and Ron Pitts after these messages and a word from your local Fox station.